the URL to a page known as a permalink, a slug, or a URL alias in Drupal's case, plays an important part in SEO. Now we can easily change the URL alias from node slash one, which is node slash ID, by editing the article, scrolling down, and from the right-hand side, clicking on URL aliases, and then just chucking in a custom title. If we save the article, we now have a custom title. But this was a very manual process. You don't wanna go through 50, 100, or 1,000 articles just to change the URL. Luckily for us, there is a module called Path Auto. This allows you to automate the creation of URL aliases, hence the name Path Auto. To set up Path Auto, make sure you download the token module and Path Auto, then go ahead and install it. Once installed, go to configuration and then scroll down and click on URL aliases. And from here, you can see the custom URL alias that we created. But now you should see extra tabs here, such as patterns, settings, and bulk generate, as well as delete aliases. If you click on patterns, here we can create a pattern that will automatically be applied to content. So let's go ahead and create a custom pattern for articles. Click on add path auto pattern and then select content from pattern type. And the path should be slash articles slash, and let's add in the actual title. So for that, we will need to use a token. So we'll add in node colon title. You can see all of the available tokens by clicking on browse available tokens, expanding this window, clicking on node, and then you can see all of the available tokens. There are a lot to choose from. Once you've defined your pattern, select which content type you want to apply it to. Let's apply it to article, then simply enter in a label. I'll enter in article content type, then click on save. To apply this change, we can go into the individual articles. So let me edit the second one. And if you click on URL aliases, now you'll see a checkbox called generate automatic URL aliases. If you leave that checked and save the article, it'll automatically generate a URL alias for you. If you want to override the alias, you can simply click on edit and then uncheck the generate checkbox and modify it whichever way you want. If you want to bulk generate aliases, go back to URL aliases, click on bulk generate, then select the type, which would be content in our case. And then you have three options when it comes to generating aliases. You can generate URLs for all non-alias paths only, or you can update the aliases for paths having an old URL alias. That's useful if you are modifying things, or you can simply regenerate it for all the paths. Now, before you run this, make sure you back up the database and always test this in a non-prod environment. So in this example, I'll just click on update and it'll go ahead and update all of the pages that do not have an alias. Then if we click on list, we should see all of our generated paths. If you need to delete the aliases, simply click on delete aliases. And from here, you can delete all of them or by the entity type such as content, taxonomy term, and user. Then below that, you do have the option to only delete automatically generated aliases. This is important if you have modified the URL for specific pages. But again, when you run this, make sure you back up the database and test things out on a non-prod environment. Now, it is quite common to delete all generated aliases and then bulk generate them, especially if you have changed the pattern. So it is common to simply delete them all and then regenerate them. So if you need to bulk generate aliases, look at using Path Auto.